Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. It all matters, and I'm really grateful. I am doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, so just make sure you're subscribed and you comment, and you're in the running for that. So today, we're asking, how are they feeling about you right now? So we've got pile one. I'm trying out these unicorn things. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What do you need? What should you get rid of? Pile number one. Pile number two. Evolving involves eliminating by Erica Badu. And these were taken from a calendar I got. You want it? Speak up is pile number three. And pile number four is you don't know what the person next to you is dealing with or has endured. Think of that before you compare or judge. These are just ones that I pulled randomly. So we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number ones. How are they feeling about you right now? And just to remind you, pile number one, check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What do you need? What should you get rid of? How are they feeling about you? King of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. That one and temperance. Well, I appreciate the temperance and the two of pentacles came out together because the two of pentacles is you know, there's a need for balance. Temperance is kind of an act for balancing things, it can be like it can be a reunion card, but it, it also can be a card of just you know, balancing your emotions, not not having too many high highs and too many low lows. So I'm getting like, whatever, is this person seeking balance? Does this person want balance with you? I feel like that, I will say that this person feels like that there has been an imbalance in the connection. Yeah, this person feels like that there has been imbalance in the connection. Is it patience? Because this can be a patience card. I feel like that there is a definite. So think about the King of Swords came out. And also like this person is evaluating whether you're a healthy person for them. Yeah. Like they're, they're trying to, s I feel like not just with you. Okay. Not just with you. Like they're moving, they're going through their life and seeing who, who they should invest their time in. Knight of cups. Are they going to come forward with an offer? So are, do they, have you offered them affection? Because this is like action, showing with action. Oh, okay. Are they going to show with action? I feel like a lot of you have shown with your actions that you care. Um, and this person, oh, like this person is kind of, they're kind of purging their life. They're kind of purging their life. And that being said, I'm not feeling like they're specifically purging their life from you, but they're trying to, to cut out anybody who's unhealthy and, you know, have balance and stability. I feel like I need to look at this card again. So this person is checking in with themselves. So this person is specifically checking with... <clears throat> excuse me, checking in with themselves. And suddenly, even though it's the King of Swords... 
which is a communication card. It's becoming a little bit harder for me to talk, um, which is so I feel like there is something that truly needs to be said. Um, right now, I feel like this person's retracting a lot of energy, like they're bringing their like they 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 know that you've shown that you care. Um, and they feel like that there has been some imbalance here. And they are in a place where they want to like heal imbalances, but they're also in a place where they're they're checking out themselves and they're trying to they're trying to find real mental clarity. So the Ace of Pentacles. So that's a new beginning. So does this person want to have a new beginning with you? Do some of you, this person want to, I like, I feel like this person like is balancing their stuff up, making real decisions um, because this person is planning on making a, you know, like this person does want a new, steady, stable, new beginning. This person doesn't want to remain in, um, if there's anything in balance, they don't want to remain there. Some, uh, some of these people though, they may not be planning on moving forward with you. I, I, I'm getting like, there are definitely some people who are, but some of, of these people are just, you know, s steadying, stabilizing their life. Um, and they're, that's their main priority for some of you. That's going to lead them to choose you because you have been that steady, stable person who showed, you know, love and affection and some people, uh, but some these like right now, whoever this person is, they're kind of being a little ruthless in your life, in their life, in their, you know, they're, they're going to let go of, you know, any, they're not going, uh, like, if there's something that's drama, they're, they're not going to be with it. So the Jack of Wands. So I usually read that one as the Knight of Wands. Is he a player? Is she a player? No, I'm, I'm getting, like, what I'm getting is this is somebody who's really making, like, they're making cuts in their life so they're like they're moving forward they're moving forward um and some of you this person might some of you this person might just come in with an apology uh, even if they're not really planning on doing a new beginning, some of some of these people are getting to a certain point where, where that's something that they may do. Eight of Swords. They feel trapped. Do they feel that you're trapped? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Because the Eight of Swords is like being trapped in your mental space. Do they feel like that they can't move forward with you? Okay, tell me. Please, three of pentacles. All right, for some of you that there is a third party situation here. And this person is starting to realize that they may not be trapped. Um, but they're really, they're really weighing things up. They're figuring out who they should cut out of their lives and who they shouldn't. Uh, and whether or not, you know, so I feel like there are two sides to this because some, some of them may start a different beginning with somebody else. Some, some of them are going to real, uh, you know, come in and try to, you know, have this new beginning with you but i feel like there's a split on either side here
Yeah, but I feel like even if maybe they weren't seeing somebody when they were in, you know, when you were seeing each other or maybe you weren't seeing each other. Or so, I feel like some of you maybe weren't actually seeing each other. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person. Um is getting to a point where they really realize that they um that what they want is equal give and take in their relationships what they want is balance and a lack of um they they do not want drama you know this is a not wanting drama card this is a you know having things be even so this person wants to build a stable foundation. They want to bring um, stability into their life and they want to choose somebody that's going to help their stability. Um, but this person right now is a little bit uh, internally focused. Yeah, internally focused. I'm not going to say they don't seem to be, they don't have, seem to have narcissistic traits or anything like that. Um, I'm just getting that what they're doing is really looking at what's right for them. So I feel like if, if they come forward, other than just to apologize and then choose somebody else, if they come forward, they're, they're actually going to be having truly made a decision and show a choosing. Yeah. That's the third two card. Twos are all about choice. So this person is evaluating their selves. I feel like they're evaluating pretty much everybody in their life to figure out, you know, am I doing right? Am I associating with the right people? So this person is having a little bit. So I feel like this is this is about more than just you. Like this person is trying to even out your life, does want a steady new beginning. And if you're the person that's, that seems like the logical choice for that, um, then, then they're likely to choose it. Eight of pentacles. So do you know this person from work? Just because we have the three and the eight of pentacles? Not necessarily. Okay. Uh, this person realizes that there's going to have to be a consistent work and effort put into the situation. So this person is thinking about, like, if they choose to be with you, that they're going to be putting consistent effort and energy. But it's it's like they're, they're really looking very hard at people to see who makes the cut in their life. With the nine of swords. And the queen of cups. Are you the queen of cups? All right. This person absolutely does see you, though, as somebody who's very loving and kind. They do see and recognize that you've shown that you care with your actions. With the anxiety, though, with that nine of swords. Excuse me, just dropping things as I do. With that nine of swords. Five of Pentacles. So either this person's been out in the cold for a long time. Or this person's had you out in the cold for a long time. Uh, and if that's the case, there's a great source of anxiety. Because uh, you may not want them anymore. Um, and they're... So if they don't necessarily know, and truthfully, if they haven't been offering in the connection, then they should be in the dark. 
it doesn't it's a waste of your time put, uh, continuing to put in that effort. Um, how are they feeling about you right now? Integrity. Whatever they want to do coming forward, they want to make sure that, you know, they do it in the sun. They do it where everybody can see them. They, they're clear, they're honest, you know, they don't need to lie to anybody. So while some of them are choosing between you and somebody else, they, uh, you know, they don't want to, their intention is not to play around their intention. Their intention is to get, uh, to make sure that they're actually giving as much as they're receiving. Um, so this person does recognize that you deserve to be treated with respect. I'm not a hundred percent sure because I feel like some some of these people they're going to choose maybe differently, uh, and some of them are going to choose you. Um, but one thing that they're I feel like that they're going to make things clear. Even if they haven't in the past. So, cold heart. Are they cold to you? Does this person feel like you're cold to them? I feel like this person may have acted may have acted cold towards you. Like that that's not necessarily what their emotions are, but it is what they, you know, there is this kind of iced out thing that's happened. So this person is really trying to, uh, this person is, while a, a generally a pretty logical person, this person is really having to explore their emotions and really see how they really feel outside of anybody else's opinion how like what is their heart saying again this person has gone very internal like they're not really trying to so they're trying to do the right thing whatever it is um i feel like this person does this person see that you have grown no this person this person has grown as a person and wants to be with whoever has also made that growth who you know and this person does see that you are valuable um but again this person is mainly thinking about growth this person is thinking about health health and growth and again they want to choose whoever's gonna facilitate that Whoever is going to help them continue to grow. I mean, not by, you know, parenting them, but by, you know, not being a liability. So this person, yeah, may come up cold. <laughs> um, so with the, with the tortoise, it's like, I feel like this person is just, uh, this person regarding you is trying to figure out what the best long-term solution is what what's the best long-term choice if this person has more than one person you know uh, or like maybe they're not dating two people but you know you guys weren't together and people you know dated other people but this person's taking inventory of their life So this person, um, specifically, whether they care or not, you know, um, they're, they're going to definitely cut out anything that's unhealthy. 
and they're reevaluating everybody in life in your in their life, including you, whether or not you're still really in contact. Um, but this person is uh this person is trying to level up, and it's not that they don't think about you, but right now they're thinking about what's healthy for them. And for some of you, that means this person is going to come forward. And, and for some of you, this person, you know, may start like being really upfront. Um, but they're actually going to at least offer you honesty. So I hope that that helped. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers so just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and i just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking sharing uh <laughs> booking reading subscribing it really matters and i'm very appreciative so we're going to move on to a pile number two and i like i feel like it's fun that pile number two's uh clock number was 2112. So there's kind of an inner kind of mirroring already happening with the number also picking up two. So two may be significant to you. Evolving involves eliminating. And that's a quote from Erica Badu. And uh, this is from a calendar advice from a unicorn. <laughs> Just cut off the date. So, how are they feeling about you right now? Hanged man? The seven of wands? The three of pentacles? And the Seven of Swords. This person is not very open. So with the Hanged Man, like this person Maybe it's trying to find enlightenment, trying to see things in a different way. Um, but they're not taking a lot of action. Except they are being defensive and evasive. The three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles can be working together, cooperating, but it's just the other things don't seem to be cooperating. It can be about working on craft. Okay. The person might be really taking a lot of time and working on a craft. Uh, they may even be doing it like... I feel like that's something that they are passionate about, but I feel like... They're also using it as an excuse. So how are they feeling about you right now? They're avoiding thinking about you right now. Um, how are they feeling? About, yeah, like they're, they're kind of avoiding thinking and feeling regarding you as much as possible. With the Ace of Pentacles, the this person this person knows that there needs to be a new beginning in this connection. Um, and at the same time, this person is acting really scared, like you know, like truly running away. Uh, Knight of Swords.
So do they need to come forward with communication? Is this about move? All right, like this person is like taking their time, they're putting their energy and effort and thought into other things. And that's partially so that they don't have to think about the connection. They don't have to think about um, starting new again. They don't need to think about um, the fact that things need to be moved forward. This person is procrastinating hardcore. Ah, oh, and that ultimately is it because they're like they know they 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 know that the procrastination that they're doing is causing conflict between the two of you. Um, but it's like you know when you know that you need to do your taxes and you wait till the very last moment. But, you know, there's no chance of jail time. So, like, so the King of Pentacles. So this person is procrastinating, running away, and trying to put all their energy and effort into thinking about, you know, probably some kind of passion of theirs. I feel like that, it, you know, it's probably some kind of creative thing. But this person at some level knows that they need to come forward and be this steady, stable individual, which they are not acting like. Because deep down, um, they know they know that they're sabotaging themselves, and uh, you know, they know that. You know, I feel like this person is trying not to think about the fact that, you know, not acting is eventually going to leave just loss. This person doesn't want to think about it. In fact, I feel like this person has, like, this person. You know, this person doesn't want downtime. This person wants to always be occupied. Three of wands. Three of wands is about looking into the future. It can be about waiting. Is it about procrastinating? Okay. Because this is a, you know, like, again, like, they know that they need to offer this steady, stable, new beginning, and they know that they need to come forward and be steady and stable. Um, but this person just keeps putting it off. How are they feeling about you right now? The Eight of Cups. Now, I don't think that they're emotionally walking away. They're running away and, you know, because... They're super scared. Um, but this person is starting to realize that you're emotionally walking away. The, yeah. So this person is starting to realize the toll that their inaction has caused. How are they feeling about you right now? Strength. Yeah. This person is seeing you. Um, taking control of your life. This person is watching you be brave while they act like a coward. And evolving involves eliminating. What I'm getting is, is even though this person is actively running away from you, this person is realizing that they're the person that may get eliminated. Because you... You know, they, they, they haven't stepped up to the plate. I feel like they know that they have more to offer, but 
they haven't offered it. I feel like they're getting a swift kick in reality. Um, but, you know, they can only run away from this connection so long before eventually you won't be there when they come back. So they see you facing up to your challenges and they see you walking away from them. Whether or not they did it first, they, you know, even if say you were chasing them in the past or something like that, I feel like they're starting to realize that, uh, that at this point, if they run to the ends of the earth, they're going to be there alone. And I feel like this person, yeah, this person, while they've been running from everything, while they've been not wanting to think about anything, feel, yeah, while this person has been kind of indulging, this person has come to the realize that, uh, realization that they truly need to make a decision because otherwise they're gone and there's no coming back that you will this person is realizing has got to the point where they've realized that you are not going to put up with their stuff anymore so if they don't truly make a decision if they don't you know grow up they know you'll make a decision for them so right now they know while there's still a little bit of procrastination still left in this person they this person knows that you know, this person knows they're on their last chance. That's how they feel about you. 333 is on the clock. That might be significant. Drop some more cards, just, you know, because it's how I do. And just dropped them again because otherwise, you know, would it not be funny? However, I feel like I have to take the fool because both times I dropped it, the fool came up. So this person is realizing um, that they have to face their fears. Um, they're, they're realizing that they have to make a move. They have to make a move whether or not they're ready. Tell me more about this. So this person realizes that they're on their very last chance with you and that they're 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 going to have to make a move um they're going to have to face their fear um they're going to have to come in and be truly committed how are they feeling about you right now yeah the lovers yeah they spent so much time not wanting to think about the connection, avoiding thinking about the connection. And now they're realizing that you are done with their indecision. Whether or not they just realized that. So I apologize. Apparently, I, this is a time where I'm just going to drop things even more often than my regular. <laughs> but yeah, this person is realizing, oh no, I've been running from this connection. Oh no, this connection is real. It's something that I want. And oh no, I am on my absolute last chance. So at this point, this person 
is starting to realize that they're never going to be able to replicate this connection with anybody else. They really are just, they're never going to be able to. That you have, that with the four of wands and the lovers and, you know, like they know they're having to realize that you're their person. And I feel like some of them have been really afraid of commitment. Um, but some of them are learning to be afraid of what happens if they never even get that chance because they, um, because they have very much pushed you to the point where they may not have that chance anymore. So, um, this person has come to realize that, oh, I know I've been running away and, you know, causing all sorts of instability in this connection, but um, this person has realized that they do actually really love you. Uh, and they realize that you are beyond done with them. Um, I feel like Evolving involves eliminating. I feel like they've come to the realization that, you know, if they do nothing in this connection, that they are going to be eliminated. Uh, you know, not physically, but, you know, like, where... Where you, this person, no, uh, this person knows in the depths of their heart, in their gut, this person knows that uh, that you're you're at a point where you, no matter how you feel, and I feel like this person does know that you care, but this person knows that you will walk away no matter how you feel. Uh, unless they get brave, face their fears, really create something stable and steady with you. And, you know, balance things in such an intense way. Like, you know, like they've, they've missed their, like all their chances to mess up. They've, 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 they've run past those. And even they've come to the point where they realize that. Yeah, this person is uh, is starting to realize that um, the love that they feel, even though they've been running, like that this love isn't going away. This love is, you know, is something the constant. With the... Yeah, this person, it's like this person had their heart, like they were trying to keep it locked up. They were trying to keep their heart locked up. They were trying to keep their heart out locked up. And it's almost just as you're starting to just lock up your heart because they kept their heart locked the whole time. Um, they're coming to the realization that that they essentially created their worst case scenario because they weren't actually able to keep their heart locked up. They just weren't giving with it. This person is realizing that they have these feelings and connections with you, whether or not they run away. Um, this person with the masses person is realizing I feel like this person is realizing that they weren't even honest with themselves they were so busy like trying not to feel something like they they didn't they didn't even get real with themselves so i i feel like they're they're only trying they're only now figuring out what's beneath their own mask 
Like they were, they were avoiding it so hard that they were like, you know, it's not that they were just, you know, telling you that they don't care. They were trying to convince themselves that they didn't. Because somehow, you know, being not giving of their heart was going to make them safe. Um, the problem is, 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 is it's not, you didn't really stay on the outside. Um, but, but I feel like they treated you that way. Yeah, this person uh, isn't getting the benefit of denial anymore. This person... Whether or not they get to have you back in their life, this person is having to accept that whether or not they still get to have any kind of place in your life, that you were still their person. Like, um, that again, no, like that there there is no uh, there's nobody else that they can have this kind of relationship with i mean eventually that they could get married or something like that but there's you know this stability this you know this amount of love going back and forth this you know this joy and adoration like they're not going they can't get this with somebody else and the, so with you, I feel like there, there was procrastination about doing things in this connection. And I feel like then there was practic uh, procrastination about starting to make things right again within this connection. Uh, and then they're realizing that they may no longer have the choice. Again, with the lovers, that ultimately they did make a choice. But this person is realizing they need to, they need to, they're realizing that they need to do their self-improvement in a hurry. Um, they're realizing that this connection is extraordinarily valuable. And I feel like this person is realizing they actually do want to grow this connection. I feel like the universe itself is, is, has just been continually giving this person input to take the actions that they need to, which is, I think, maybe one of the reasons why this person spent a lot of time distracting themselves. Because any time that they weren't concentrating, the universe came in and said, you know, you have to take action. Golden crown. So I feel like this person, like the golden crown is about, you know, seeing the beauty of uh, the compassion in someone. And I feel like this person realizes that you you hold a, a level of compassion um, that is something that's very valuable to them. So this person... I feel like right now, like this person, I feel like this person is, is getting close to actually realizing they need to make the decision. They have to make a decision no matter what. So this person is, is also realizing has finally come to the realization that choosing not to make a decision is a decision.
I do I do think it's important that that um, fool was there because I do feel like this person is getting to a point where they they know they just whether or not the time is perfect, whether or not anything else is in place, they just need to take action. So I appreciate you. <laughs> if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, booking readings, um, commenting. It all matters and I'm very grateful. So we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number threes. Hello, pile number three. So your advice from Unicorn is, you want it, speak up. How are they feeling about you right now? Ace of Cups. Five of Swords. Three of Swords. And Ten of Wands. Okay. I feel like this person recognizes that there has been heartbreak in this connection and either you or them like somebody was you know not playing fair um that this is ultimately caused a burden so give me a clarity but this person still has overwhelming emotions for you and they do actually want a new beginning, but yeah, make a lot of sense. The two of swords clarifying the five of swords. So if this person, you know, wasn't playing fair in the connection, they've come to realize that that caused both heartbreak which is the three of swords on the ground and caused you to be mentally conflicted regarding them. Um, if, if this is the opposite, it might be the opposite. Like if you know that you didn't necessarily act the right way, um, they feel, you know, conflicted and heartbroken. But if you know that, you know, they were the one not cooperating, I feel like they're coming to realize the enormous burden that they've caused. I'm getting like, they know that even though they want this emotional new beginning, the actions were hard to come back from. Give me some clarity on that 10 of wands, eight of swords. Um, yeah, and they're, they're holding on to this and they're feeling like that they, that they, even though they could speak up if they want to have something be better, they are in a place where they're, they're, they've told themselves that they've made these decisions and they're stuck. 10 of hearts. So this person wants a new beginning with you. This person has a lot of love for you. 
And this person, either they made a lot of poor choices or you made a, made a lot of poor choices. And if so, it's funny. Now we have the two, three, four, and five of swords out. And the two, uh, and the, the four of swords on top of the three of swords, the four of swords being that, you know, healing that you need to take after heartbreak, like that, you know, when everything goes really wrong and needing to rest and, you know, heal. So if you know you didn't completely do right by this person, this person is very conflicted regarding you. Uh, and again, this person has a lot of love for you. That love didn't go away. I've got time out, and this, especially with that Four of Swords. It's like there was a need for healing. Then again, if this person hasn't, you know, this person hasn't done repairs with you, that's, it's going to be necessary. But the devil, this person feels trapped. Um, and this person... This person probably, you know, thinks about you pretty obsessively, actually. Um, but they really need to... So, like, if, they've, uh, if they're the person that may have come forward and caused things to be wrong, like... There, there's some kind of need that like there's a real need for healing here. Somebody really needs to come forward and show with their actions that they care. Because there has been, you know, negative bad behavior. And that I feel like that bad behavior caused there to be a timeout in your connection. How are they feeling about you right now? So, like, again, I feel like if, if, if you feel like, you know, you, I feel like it's not that one person's perfect and the other person's not. But if somebody really came in and started, you know, messing things up, I feel like for the most part, you know. Seven of Pentacles. All right. This, this person feels like there was so much unfulfilled potential between the two of you. And this person spends a lot of time. It's like this person spends more time thinking about the loss than about fixing things. Even though there's a lot of love. How are they feeling about you right now? Justice. Also... 11 11s on the bottom of that card. So So with justice cuz that could be about balancing out things and but I'm almost getting like if this person did wrong, they feel like they got what they deserved. Um, 
that they feel like, you know, you know, you no longer seeing them the same way and, you know, them receiving heartbreak, like, this person, this person needs to spend a lot more time just, you know, like, I feel like they want this connection, um, but they've failed to speak up and they're instead, you know, it's like they're, it's like they're mentally torturing themselves, but they're also not doing anything to improve things for you. Like, so like if, I feel like the universe is trying to say, like, if you want to fix things, you know, you actually have to use your words. Temperance. So it is good that temperance came up. Because, uh, especially with the devil, temperance is is kind of, you know, really emotionally getting yourself together. And this person has only been paying attention to the spilled milk, has, you know, only been thinking about the things that didn't come through. In fact, really obsessing about it, really, you know, holding it and carrying it. And, you know, so it is good. It does feel like this person is realizing, oh, you know, That they, that they may have to heal something. If this person... Now, if, if you're... But either way, I mean... So with that page of wands... Yeah, I feel like this person... I, I don't know, between bouts of self-flagellation, this person, uh, you know, is thinking that they want to start communicating. They, they are starting to realize that they may need to, you know, stop holding on to things so that they can have a new beginning. So this person cares, uh, this person has a lot of love for you, but it's like, it's like they've spent so much time and energy torturing themselves and not fixing anything. I mean, if if only, you know, them coming forward and, you know, whether or not you, you actually be together, but like, you know, coming together and giving you some closure and healing, like, it's like they've been really selfish in their, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like they've thought that they, you know, they made a mistake. They will live with the mistake. They will be noble about this mistake. They will, you know, they will never, you know, the mistake will never end. And, you know, like, but it's like they skip the step on, you know, doing thing, uh, you know, like actually looking out for you. <laughs> like they're, they're just, they spend so much time. It's like, oh, it's ruined. It's done. It's like, they're starting to realize that if they want this connection, that they need to make it happen.
Um, and they are getting to the point where they're, you know, they're not keeping them in a prison, uh, you know, catastrophizing everything and like maybe trying to at least put themselves in balance and maybe actually try to help put things in balance between you. But yeah, I feel like this person's going to make a leap of faith. Um, however, I mean, if I feel like that there was a small percentage of people where like, you know, if you guys, if, if, if you're the one who didn't treat them well, then, you know, this really spiraled them. Uh, and if that's the case, you if you want them, you have to speak up because, you know, some of you, like, no matter what, this person is going to make a leap of faith. Um, but if, if you know you didn't do right by them, then you need to speak up because this person may just make a leap of faith, you know, but it may not be towards you. That's not for everybody. That's if you know that you didn't do the right thing. Like if you know that maybe you like, you know, it could have been cheating. It doesn't have to be though. You could have just, you know, fought this connection. It, you know, it could have to do with, you know, attachment issues where you push people away. But you have to know that if you push this person away, you hurt them really badly. Uh, and, you know, either way, this person still has a lot of love and feelings for you. But I feel like if, if, if you can sit uh, continue to, uh, it, and this is not for everybody, but like, if you continue to be toxic, they're going to move towards healing. So if you want them to move towards you, you have to be, uh, you have to make sure that that's, that's what you're actually doing. Um, now again, I'm not saying that's for all of you, not all of you have these things, but if you, but those of you who know you did some stuff that, you know, really hurt this connection, you're going to have to speak up. So I hope that this helped you. If you do on a free reading, I'll, uh, I'm doing for two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, booking readings. It all matters. And I'm really grateful. So it's time to move on to pile number four. Hello, my beautiful and talented pile number four. So the advice from the unicorn you got is you don't know what the person next to you is dealing with or has endured. Think of that before you compare or judge. How are they feeling about you right now? The hermit. The king of cups. The chariot. And the ace of cups. This person has a lot of love for you. They may either want an, a new emotional beginning or they want there to be another level of emotion between the two of you. Um, this person 
has a lot of really deep emotions. However, this person may, uh, this person doesn't wear their emotions on their sleeve. This person is very emotional. This person does make decisions based on their feelings. Um, but this person doesn't let everybody know how they feel. And that could be, again, because maybe of things that they've dealt with in the past. The hermit. How, do they, how are they feeling about you right now? So I feel like this person has a deep well of feelings for you. But I feel like this person is really... This person has has a big concentration on self growth right now. Um, this person, um, so I feel like this person wants to move forward. Um, but again, this person. I feel like this person spends a lot of time in self-evaluation. Um, this person spends a lot of time trying to, like, this person is highly introspective. Like, this person spends a lot of time, this person is likely a little bit introverted. So they do want to move things forward. And they do have a lot of love for you. But like, let me give me a little bit more on the hermit, Queen of Swords. Do they see you as the Queen of Swords? Are they the Queen of Swords? All right, this this plays well with the message. Um, like this person has dealt with a lot of tragedy, heartbreak, pain. A lot, you know, not just once, not just twice, like a lot. Um, so this person, it's not like they're fully armored up, but again, like, even though they're a, you know, that they, they have these loving feelings that they, they definitely, you know, don't wear them on their sleeve. And in addition to that, they, they, you know, if they feel like, yeah, if they feel like it's like they'll they'll walk away from you even if they really love you if they feel like you're not healthy for them. And this has to do again with them having endured a lot. So it's not, it's not, this person isn't even closed off. This person isn't, you know, it's not that they're, they won't, you know, it's not like they're gone in a drop of a hat. This person isn't like choosing other people, but if they go inside and they deeply see that you're not healthy for them, this person will make hard choices. Queen of Pentacles. Are you the Queen of Pentacles? Or are they the Queen of Pentacles? Hmm. Male or female, this person. Uh, the, there's... So they're being... This person is, is spending time moving forward in their life. And I, I get like they would want a new beginning, but I feel like they're spending a lot of time building up their foundations, building up their stability. How are they feeling about you right now? Queen of Wands.
they have an amazing amount of desire for you. Like, I feel like, so, so far we've got three queens, one king, and all different signs. So the wands, the cups, the pentacles, and the swords. This person very much, you know, it's like they can't fully look away from you. Like they, yeah, and ultimately what they want is balance. What they want is fairness. And the Queen of Swords very much, you know, so this person Wants fairness, wants balance, definitely wants honesty. Yeah, I feel like that's a super important one. With the emperor. It's weird. Because... I'm not necessarily getting that this person is specifically coming towards you. I'm, I'm getting like that this person, you know, they want honesty. They want things to move forward. They have a lot of feelings for you. But again, if for some reason they, they've come to, uh, they've, and if they've come to this conclusion, it's because they've been, you know, like they really molded over. They didn't just, you know, like they weren't, you know, they weren't, it wasn't a spur of the moment. It was like, you know, dissecting it for months. But if they found, uh, you know, if they felt that, that you really weren't healthy for them, they called the judgment. Uh, and because I feel like some of them, some of these people are like, if, if you didn't come up as healthy for them, it's not that they don't love you. But they're going to move forward with their life. They're going to move forward. They're going to build things. They're, you know, like they're going to, it's like they'll, they will build their long-term life and everything without you. If, however, that's not the case, if, if you haven't had that kind of that was the seven of uh, wands, by the way, but it just didn't feel right. So I didn't put it up. But, but I feel like uh, for some of you, this person is just, I just heard calm and move on. So it's a, it's a weird thing to say. That's not exactly... But that, you know, like, so some of these people may be moving on. The star. I feel like, yes, there is hope. There is a chance for healing in this connection. The Hierophant. Yeah, this person, you know, if you're willing to bring in a steady stability, if you're willing to bring this situation up to another level of commitment. Page of wands, page, uh, pages are about communication, wands are about excitement. Are they gonna communicate with you? I feel like a lot of, you know, I feel like no matter what, this person is going to move their 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 self forward. They're going to build, you know, they're going to build up themselves. They're going to build up the people around them. They're going to create stability. Um, and they're actually going to be pretty just impressively focused. Page of Swords, Page of Wands. 
It's, but there's, there's, it's like there's needs to be some sort of communication. Are they paying attention to you? Are you paying attention to them? It's like there needs to be a talk regarding the truth and there needs to be a talk regarding action. Like there needs to be truth. Like somebody needs to come forward with truth and somebody needs to like, like be, uh, tell the truth and make it clear what your actions are. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like you may think that this person, I, I don't know, do you think that this, I, I feel like this person has just worked so hard. Yeah. Worked so hard for whatever stability that they have. So again, there, this person does have a lot of tender emotions regarding you, but there's been a lot of twists and turns in this connection, and it's almost like they need to come together. There needs to be a destination. But I feel like this person is really being genuine to who they are. It's it's not that, again, they're not wearing their heart on their sleeve, but that's also not who they are. Doesn't mean that they're not caring, but this person has gone through a lot. Like, this person has a, a excelled where a lot of people just don't. Uh, so, like, this person is being real, is being genuine, and this person is also not playing games. Like, they're being real. If they move on, they're really moving on. Um, But this person still feels like a sense of comfort and home with you. And this person, like, there are a lot. There is, even though this person is showing you their true face, there is a lot of complexity below the surface. It's not a lack of authenticity. It's just, it's a, ples it's a plethora of complexity. So, this person does love you. They do care. Um, and they feel, you know, like they feel like home is with you. And, like, they would want, you know, like, they do see you as wish fulfillment. And they would want, you know, a stable commitment with you. Um, but this person will not. It's like this person, if, if, if this isn't healthy, this person will move on. Like, this person really will. Like, they... they they will cut their losses and it won't have to do with, it won't have to do with them not caring. Um, it won't have to do with them not loving you. It will have to do with it just being, it's just things that they're not going to do. So, yeah, this person has a lot of love for you, a lot of caring for you. But if you're going to try to make this person choose between their self-respect and you, it's, well, they're not going to choose you. And, and at the same time, it's not going to make them not love you. But
but this person, like, ha they have things that they're just, they won't do. Um, and they have it because of these, you know, they've dealt with a lot of really harshness um, for a very long time. Like, this person, so, like, if you want this person in your life, you need to come forward, you need to act healthy. If you can do that, you can have a new chapter. And if not, this person, I feel like, is going to continue to love you. And they're going to build an entire life without you. So I hope that this helps you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, uh, I'm going to bring away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. I, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings. It all matters, and I'm really grateful.